College Station ISD Superintendent Tim Harkrider has just finished his first week on the job, coming to College Station after serving in the same role for the past 10 years at Willis ISD. Brazos Valley uh, this morning, anchor Carla Castillo sat down with a former professional baseball player who has dedicated his life to education in this exclusive conversation. Sometimes I hear people describe um, the onboarding process as um, kind of taking a big old drink from the, the water hose like we used to do back in the day when we'd play outside. Is it a water hose full speed or is it kind of a drinking fountain at school where you remember the one, two, three, four, okay, now it's my turn. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I think it's a fire hose right now. So it, there's, there's quite a bit going on in the onboarding. I haven't done that in 11 years. So getting all the paperwork for HR insurance and all that. So balancing that with, with meeting the new team, but it's, uh, it's good. You know, you, you come into this thing knowing I think the biggest deal for me is not to try to go too fast to take this thing a little bit out of time you know we've got a year it's not a sprint it's a marathon and I just need to take my time and slow down and, and make sure that I'm, I'm meeting the people that I need to meet and evaluating and seeing all the great things that are taking place here we know sports uh, big in your life and in fact you are considered one of uh, the best shortstops to ever play at the University of Texas and in 1993 you got a chance uh, that high school and college students rarely do they only dream of it, getting drafted to the major leagues. Can you tell me a little bit about how your experience as an athlete in high school and college and the pros helped define uh, the way you look at athletics as an administrator and what should parents of some of these students, athletes, know about you in that role? For me, just from a standpoint, athletics mirrors life. There's ups and downs and we're going to get knocked down in life no matter how we good we are, how hard we work. There's going to be challenges that are going to knock us down and we've got to teach kids it's okay, it's part of life, get back up. I see now too, too much, we give trophies for everything. You know, everybody gets a trophy, it's a participation trophy. And that's, that's not life. You know, life is about failure and it's about getting back up and having success. And I think that's something that I wanna make sure, I think College Station's done a great job of that with their athletic programs, but also in the classroom. You know, you may fail a test. Okay, well, let me give you a retest opportunity. Maybe we need to study a little bit harder. You can make a better grade the second time. It, it's all about, effort, preparation, and I used to tell our kids when I coached, you know, you don't have a game switch on and off on your back. Otherwise, it'd be really easy for me. I flip it on and, and we're going to win. You know, your game switch is on 24-7 and, and mine never turns off. And I think that's important for parents to understand that and, and about the education piece. Your body's going to break down and you're going to get older and at some point in time, you're not going to be able to play anymore but your mind's not going to. You know, there's nothing that will replace an education. When you were at Willis ISD, smaller district, but the expectations, I imagine, are still the same. O overall, people just want, the parents, we just want our kids to succeed. What did success look like for you at Willis ISD? Yeah, I think the community involvement piece is always big. You know, we were able to pass three bonds uh, in Willis and build facilities for kids. That's one of the funnest thing that I've done is build opportunities for students, whether it was CTE Center, Performing Arts Center, new campuses, new administration building. There are opportunities for uh, the district to grow long term. And, and that's been, you know, a, a great point and a great time for me and, and our team. And now coming here to College Station, bigger district, more employees, a lot more things to do and oversee, but a bigger challenge, which that's what motivates me. That's exciting. And, you know, the, the board has been going through after the work of a long term planning committee and evaluating potential another bond opportunity that would impact, you know, our entire school district. And uh, there's nothing more exciting than that. There's nothing more exciting than to be able to bring opportunities to kids, opportunities for your community. And that's really what I love about College Station. The district's done a wonderful job of engaging the community in a variety of opportunities to help lead the direction of the school district. You mentioned the bonds. Uh, when they announced you were hired, the school board president essentially told us one of the things that helped you stand out was that success with the bond packages that you passed at Willis ISD. We know this is a continued growing school district. Uh, is that any kind of pressure on you to be successful in passing bonds in the upcoming elections? Maybe so, but you know, I don't think uh, I put more pressure on myself than, than anybody could ever put it. It was the same thing when I played baseball, you know, playing in front of 30,000 fans in the College World Series or play in front of 200 in high school baseball. To me, it didn't matter. The pressure was the same. Uh, and I think coming in here, the experience helps me. Uh, I think probably there was more pressure on me in 2015 when we passed a bond because the district hadn't passed a bond in nine years. 
I'd been superintendent for two years and was just trying to figure out what the heck I was supposed to be doing. Then all of a sudden, you know, here's a bond project. So I'm coming into College Station with, with a lot of learning over the last 10 years, a lot of strategy. I think the team here has done a good job over the years of strategizing for bonds. And I think that experience will, will help me get out and, and just to visit with the community. Our job is to present the facts and then, you know, the community's job is to show up at the polls and, and vote. And I think if you paint that picture of why things are needed and what they're for and really do show all the details and go out and get the word out, uh, and then voters are informed when they show up to vote. And you can hear more from our 45-minute conversation with the new superintendent throughout the week on Brazos Valley this morning. Tim Harkrider's first school board meeting workshop is on Tuesday at 5 p.m. The very first agenda item is consideration and discussion of a proposed bond package for November 2023. Later that evening, the board is holding its regular meeting at 7. These meetings will both be at the CSISD main office on Welsh Avenue. They also will be live streaming, so you can watch virtually. 